What's up, guys? We are in BLC Studios here with Herd, Sam Starzeski, Elijah Pitchford, and then Carson Lewis. I think I like didn't mess it up in the pre one, but probably messed it up real bad there. Starzeski. There it is. Yep. If you want to just go around and say your own names too, so I don't mess them up completely, that's fine too. But how are you doing? Doing awesome. It's doing a beautiful great. Tuesday. Tuesday. It's cold though, guys. It it's was really out. cold. It's like five degrees this morning. Yeah, it's just yeah. the wind. It's November. Outdoor rinks, though. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> outdoor rinks. That's actually because they we've got one by east, and then we got one down by Mankato West. West, right? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I need to do that. I got to break the skates out. I don't even know where they went. It's fine. So basically, I don't know if it's winter or if it's gonna get warm, but that's fine. It's gonna be great. We are here with the herd. If you haven't know them, you're gonna know them. Right? You guys are like oh, ramping yeah. up. Carson and We're I talked in kind of like pregame where he's like, this is getting going. It's basically, correct me if I'm wrong, it's kind of like a student section kind of organization. Yeah. If you guys want to go section. into it. It's a student section basically for all athletics, but uh, definitely maintaining touch the big sports, hockey, basketball, football. Yeah. You know, the ones that uh, get the most publicity, uh, basically the best in the NSIC. So, okay. And WCHA. Woohoo! I love it. I... I really like this, and I'm um, like Carson reached out to me on like the Twitter page, and I was like, last episode, if you guys heard, we were maybe we, I was thinking about doing something with PA, who is works with the Mavericks, or like maybe like that's like trainer or stuff like that, and we just didn't know to do because it's a bye week. Like, what do you do to bye week? Right. And you need like press because we're just we're number one ranked. This is crazy. Like, we need some publicity, but I don't know if we want to talk to the guys because I already talked about them. So then you reached out, and I think this is gonna be such a great episode but we're gonna be talking about because elijah you're the president right yeah i'm and, the president okay so what is like this is our icebreaker for today where it's a cliche but we're gonna talk about like who you are what you do like what your major is how old you are and then what you do with the herd and why you wanted to join the herd in the first place so who's ever wants to go for it kill it uh so yeah i'm elijah keller from pitchford uh, fifth year at msu um, I run track, and kind of what put me towards this is a sport management major and kind of seeing that, uh, you know, athletics wasn't getting all the things that it should be, you know, the fans yeah. there um, to the best of their abilities and whatnot. And so, um, like I said, I I ran track, seen people at all the games, and really it's just kind of athletes at first, and it's like there's a lot of students there, but they need to get involved, you know? Yeah, so sure. um kind of started up last year with my uh, brother, and trying to just keep people involved, different things like that. And then this year, we had a few freshmen kind of make an Instagram, and um, it piqued our interest. And uh, so ever since we kind of took on them, they were just, they've been great for us. They've been doing a lot. Um, Carson taking over hockey has been a well, because I don't really go to many hockey games. Yeah, I've what's up the, with that? <laughs> you know we're on a hockey podcast, right? Right, yeah, no, for sure. We <laughs> have a, <laughs> we're ambushing him. We already <laughs> talked about this. Yeah, so I've been to two hockey games in four years, so it's not uh, the best record. But, um, yeah, so I needed some help with the <laughs> hockey games for sure. Yeah, so um, basically you need to go, and you need to go now and bring signs and do that because this is you got to go. They're great. Oh, yeah. They're, and already, they're good. They're ranked number one now. Right? Now you have to go. Yeah. See? Now it's in like the go. People are going to be like, yeah, so are you that guy that was on Marissa's podcast and said you'd go to the hockey games? Have yeah, you been so to one? Yeah, and I'll be there front row, and they're going to be wondering, you know, I've never been to a game, yeah. but I'm front row now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. Who's next? So I'm Carson. I'm a marketing major at Mankato, and I'm a junior. And when I, I transferred to Mankato last year, and instantly I – wanted to go to all the sporting events. I knew I knew about how good Mankato was at pretty much every sport. And I found that account on Instagram rather early, The Herd. And I thought, oh, this is cool. So I followed it. And they didn't do much with it last year. But then over the summer, I ran into another Herd member. His name is Woogie at a concert. Woogie? Yeah. And I love it. <laughs> I got to talking to him and I said, oh, yeah, I've been following the herd since last year. I'm really interested in it. Then he invited me out to the first meeting and I've been here ever since. Wow. Woogie. Kind of like, um, <laughs> you know, uh, Monday Night Football, the commentator, Boog? Yeah. Yeah. 
It's kind of yeah. like that. I, d I mess with it. I really mess with it. So that's dope. Okay. Sam Starzecki. Yep. I'm Sam. There. Uh, I'm also a marketing major. Um, I'm one of the freshmen that Elijah was talking about earlier. Um, I joined the herd by, I went to a football game and I went down to the front row and I met Carson here and the rest is history, I guess. <laughs> there it is. Perfect. So, I mean, I think this is going to be really great, and I'm super excited to see this because we've got a great program. And we were talking about this, not even like hockey, but like football's been destroying too. Yeah. Like they did like 81 or <laughs> zero or something on a team, and they like, and they just, did they get just get conference like? Yeah, they yep. just won conference USF. overall. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I think this is great, and even with like women's soccer, they've been doing really well too. Because you guys do, like you said, you do all kind of all sports kind of thing. We've been actually going to a lot of soccer games. They're yeah. Actually, really fun. Actually, yeah, I mean, I like fun. soccer. I yeah. don't get why people don't like soccer. It'd be it'd be a lot more fun if we had a lot of fans there. Yeah. Like, even just us there, we've made some soccer games yeah. really fun this I year. I love it. All right, Carson, you want to get a little closer? Yeah. Thank you. It's really hard because a lot of the guys, when we go on here, they'll, like, bring it down all the way low, and then you can't get, like, we don't want to eat the mic because then, like, you can <laughs> hear yourself breathing, and that's really weird. But, yeah, you just, it's weird. I don't know, podcasts are weird, but please keep listening. So who do you, what do you want from the fans? What is your goal? I mean, obviously you want them to come out, right? Obviously come out, and we have free tickets at Mankato, so I don't know why they don't in the first place, but I want them to come out. A big thing for me, I don't know if you guys all feel the same, I want everyone standing. To yeah. me, mm -hmm. standing is the first step to getting an awesome student section. Mm -hmm. And so we have our little section below the band, and we're really trying to work with the section to the like right next to us to the left. And like we're really trying to get everyone standing up on their feet whole game. Yeah, it really adds to it. It gets everyone more comfortable to get loud. So that's the that's the first step I that's got. That's the first step. Yeah, so I don't think people realize how much more fun, uh, especially hockey games, can be when yeah. you're in a really fun or really loud student section. And I think that's a it's a big part of it is to get everyone going and get everyone hyped up. And, yeah. You know. Yeah. So I mean. I don't know why people like don't get into the games. They're really excited. I'm on the sidelines, I'm on like the boards and I'm like like pounding, right? And I get super excited, but then I go over there and it's like see like you guys are into it, then like like the studio student section next to you guys are just like sitting down. I'm like, how do you do that? You know what's crazy? We get yelled at for hitting the glass over in our section. Really? Yeah. What? By who? We, we do it anyway, but Oh, oh well. I hope I hope <laughs> that Kato Civic Center security isn't listening, but that's and really weird because they come like, yell at us, but we'll we still do it there. anyway. Whoops, Oopsies. I do it. <laughs> uh, it's what you do at a hockey game. It's what you, you do, glass. right? There's a goal, you hit the glass. There's you hit the glass. Hit, you hit, you the hit the glass. glass. Yeah. When there's somebody right in front of you on the on the board, what do you do? Hit the glass. Every single time they come up and they do like a check, I'm like, <laughs> like I just get freaked out every single because I'm so close. I'm like right here. Oh yeah. Oh, I've gotten really good at not like people. In pregame, when I'm like yelling, I'm chirping the other team during pregame. They're shooting shots at my face. Never flinch. I've gotten, Never. I've gotten oh. really good at it. You know, it sound when a, when a puck hits the like the boards, it sounds like a gunshot. Oh, so it's every loud. single time, it's like super loud. It's startling. Like you can get used to it, but then what if you're talking and all of a sudden it does that? You're like, oh my gosh, what just happened? So you talked about getting free tickets. Yeah. How, so did, how can students do that? Definitely, if you go to MSU every Wednesday from... 10 to 2. 10 to 2. 10 to 2. They're in the CSU. You know, okay. you walk up, show them your math card, you get a ticket. Um, but then after that, we normally get the rest of the tickets. Okay. Um, that's for both Friday and Saturday games. And really, it's we're at basketball games. Definitely, every other sporting event we're at, uh, we have them with us. Carson usually has a big big I, pile walking I around the CSU. I usually get piles of them. And I have this really cool like hockey stick maverick flag okay and you're like you'll see me walking around campus waving that with the and jersey have, on yeah with the jersey with the on jersey on and i i just got tickets you just have to walk up and say can i get three for tonight i'll be like here you go it's that easy guys it's that easy. It's, that easy. It's, it's literally that easy and you guys need to come out because i cover this team i've covered this team last year last year we were really good right this year it's it's even better, it's better. It's even better. we're still really good but but we lost max Coda. we gained i mean Nathan Smith is doing great. Lucas Souders Souter is doing, doing great. Awesome. Sandalin. Yes. Yeah, Sandalin. Notched, notched the first goal for us the whole I season. I know. I know. See, that's the thing is that we've got such a great hockey program, and I think that all the students need to utilize it, right? For I think sure. they need to come out and they need to do that because it's just, it makes it 5,000 times better. So, where, 
you guys kind of talked about the idea, but how have you made this kind of grow? And what did you do, I mean, to like, what do you want, maybe even not that, but what do you want people to do? Can people get involved with this? If I was a student at MSU and I'm listening to this podcast, I'm thinking, how do I get involved in this program? Is there a limit? Can anyone join? Do you have to be certain? Lay that out for me, guys. I mean, everyone who is in the student section is part of the herd. Okay. But we also do do weekly meetings, and we're definitely looking for more people to join, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. So we just kind of got registered, RSO, so registered student organization um, as the herd. Um, and really, like you said, we meet weekly, and it's really based. It started with four of us, mm -hmm. um, and just four of us bouncing off ideas. And as we grow, we just get more ideas, obviously, and we can implement them more. Um, different themes that we're going to choose for games, okay. um, different things that people want to see, chants, all that. Um, as well as me being a part of SAC, which is Student Athletic Advisory Committee. Um, I talk to the athletes straight, so they tell me some things that they want to know, some things they want us to do, and I bring it to the group, and I say, what do you guys think about this? And as long as we agree. So really, the more people we get in the room, the more ideas we have, the better the student section can get. So we normally meet Wednesdays at 7. seven yeah. yeah, Wednesdays at right. 7. Um if you're listening, I guess Pennington Hall, 114. Yeah, uh, show just up. walk it. Just walk in. It's fine. I feel like it's good to be a part of something and think this is a really good program. Do you even put it on your resume, right? Like you oh, guys yeah. can put this on your resume. Students can do this. Take advantage of this. Oh, for sure. We have. Uh, I mean, we have me as the president, a uh, vice president. Um, we have secretary, treasurer, of course, and then we have a whole bunch of officers that mm -hmm. like uh, social media. Uh, people who make our posters. We have people. We call them rustlers because um, those are people who like you know cattle gate uh cattle cows and stuff and that's okay. that's mainly carson as our hockey one for nice. sure i love it um but yeah carson's our main wrestler for everything so besides that then we also have like members and two things to two that okay. you know you don't really have to get much hands involved but you're definitely at a lot of games yeah so what else do you guys want to talk about on this is there anything that we cover you want to cover and you want to say because i think that this is a lot towards msu students Right, right yes. and we're filming at Bethany, which is kind of really weird how those <laughs> two things are connected, but kind of gearing towards MSU students and even maybe to like older fans, older generations who are listening to this, they have maybe kids that are in hockey or they're just fans. How is this going to be different than a bunch of kids that are just being a little bit maybe too rowdy for them, right? Is this a little bit different? Are you guys, how would you say that you can get the people to even just buy into this that aren't in college? Right. We're just like we're super fans. We we love our team. We have team spirit. We really just want to change the like the culture around mm -hmm. MSU. Like the culture should be, let's go to the sports game. Let's go cheer on our team. It'll be a really good time. Let's get loud. Maybe yell at the other team a little bit. Have yeah. fun. Yeah, definitely. I mean, getting involved is for sure. You're already there, so it's like, why not show why the enthusiasm? Yeah. Like when volleyball parents get involved like that's it's fun yeah, it when so football fun. players yeah they get it's fun um so i mean obviously a hockey when the big hits things like that people get involved but it's like the time not when it's the big times you know when they still need the enthusiasm yeah. all that um like i've talked to the players and they already said like they love how the herd's headed already okay um so they you know they do the stick tap at the end they said to uh like carson and all them so they definitely see it they definitely hear it um so if they're asking for it, I'd see why not. Why not, right? right? That's the big thing, is if the players are asking for it and the players are into it, then you have to do it. You have to get involved in this. Because if the players don't like it, then it's kind of like, okay, it's a little bit distracting, but this yeah. is something that oh, you guys that's need to do. That's something they want. I mean, last year we didn't lose at home, and this year, what, we have one loss so far? Yeah. We shouldn't lose again, but... No, we shouldn't. We had one loss last year, which we shouldn't have happened. Right. It uh, was really... That was shouldn't have. That was, that was yeah. really unfortunate. <laughs> Don't, don't, Elijah doesn't know. He hasn't been to hockey. He'll, he'll know. I watch stats sometimes. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. I just watch the stats. But no, we're good this year. We lost against Bowling Green, which probably shouldn't happen again, but. It was a great it, game. It was, it was a great a, game. It was a fantastic game. It was game. a great game. Came alive in the second game, though. That was much better. Oh, I yeah, know. much better in the second game. But you need that for adversity. Like, yeah. You need that for, like, the freshmen, right? Because you're, like, doing stuff and you need to. I don't know. I just think adversity is such a key thing because then how are you going to get better? Mm -hmm. Just lose a couple games. It's not going to be a big thing. They're still number one. I was going to say, as long as we're number one. As long as we're number one. Really one. one. Now we just need to stay on top. Oh, so, guys, if you don't know, you should follow them at MSU underscore the herd on Twitter, oh, yeah. right? And Instagram. And Instagram. Do you guys have like Facebook? We use Instagram 
more often than everything else. Yeah. But we do have a Facebook. It's MSU The Herd. Um, just like MSU I said, Space The Herd. Yeah. Also with the tickets, you know, if we have them after, uh, they're for the MSU kids on Wednesdays. But after, if we have them at like sporting events, any anyone can any student can have them because they're not going to ask for your like a math card when you go to the game. They're just going to ask for the ticket. So that is a good thing that you bring that up because I had a couple of people that were like. Well, I really want to go to this game and I got a student ticket, but I don't have a mad math card. Can I get in? And I was like thinking back to when, because I went to MSU for a year and I was like, kind of, you should have a math card, but if you get it from a friend who goes to MSU, that's oh, kind yeah. of a thing, right? Yeah, Definitely. like I, I had a couple friends in town. Um, we played Bowling Green and I gave them both student tickets and, you know, they walked in, no problem. See, so. and that's what you want. Like, you don't want a bunch of kids who, like, are from maybe the other school or something or like in a slander or anything. But I think that if you've got some friends, the more the merrier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for yeah. sure. The more the merrier. So exactly what Elijah said, you don't really need a math card for that stuff. And you just kind of just be involved. This is a good program. And even if anything, for football too. Do we have any more home games for football? Playoffs. playoffs. You got playoffs coming? Yeah, playoffs are away this week and then they're back for playoffs so, next week. Yeah, guys, even go to the football games. Even go. I know we had guys on here that talk about how – if they've had something that regret, maybe not going to as many sporting events that MSU has besides hockey. Oh, it's easily. If you're not doing anything, there's a lot of things going on. a lot on. of things to do. It's fun. There's a, it's a good chance we can do great things this year. So, I mean. Great chance. Great chance. Great chance to do great things. Great, great, great. <laughs> so, I mean, that's all we got right now, unless you guys want to add some more flavor to this and drizzle some salt or something on there. No one will get that reference, but us, like, millennials. <laughs> but... If that's not, we'll wrap it up. Go Mavs. Yeah. Go Mavs. There it is. Go Sam's like, I don't know how to say is. go Mavs. Break. <laughs> Three, two, one. Well, thank you guys for coming again to the herd. Please look them up. Get in contact with them. Make this thing big. We want to make this oh, yeah. thing big. We want this huge. We want this huge. I mean, I even want this huge. I don't even go. I go to Bethany, but I think that this is such a great program that people and organization that people need to be involved with. So make this thing huge. And the next series is Alaska Anchorage. So if you're a student, you contact with the herd get free tickets and get to this stuff but i mean that's all from us here at plc and the herd so catch you later thanks for having me thank you you're welcome